So I just cut out this four and a half inch piece of wood and now I just drew markings so I can tell what shape I want the lure to be. Now it's time to shape this wood with an X-Acto knife. Now that I've got it out of shape that I like, I'm going to small tune it with a s smaller knife. Now that I've really got the shape to where I want it, I'm going to start sanding it down. Careless smoking could kill you and your family. Because this is a sinking lure, I'm going to drill some holes to put some weights in. other two holes are going to hold quarter ounce weights and the one on the right is going to hold an eighth ounce weight. So now I'm going to test it in water to see what the rate of fall is. I want this lure to sink so I'm going to have to add more weights in. I drilled another hole and added an eighth ounce weight and now let's see if it sinks. Now that we have these holes with weights in them, I'm going to add some wood putty to seal them up. Now that we've got those holes sealed up, I'm going to let the wood putty dry overnight and then we're going to sand it. So I got the wood putty sanded down, now I'm going to put in my eyelets. So now I've got my eyelets in. I'm going to make this lure jointed, so I drew out where I'm going to cut it in half. Now that I've got it cut in half, I'm going to sand the two sides down a bit. Now that these fit together well, it's time to paint them. Right now I'm going to put a coat of white paint on them. I just made this cut and uh, put some plastic in after cutting it to make a bill. Now I'm going to start painting the colors on.
Now I'm going to put more eyelets in to make the swivel. Now that the paint's dry and all the eyelets are in, I'm going to put this varnish on to finish off the lore. Now that that's on, I'm going to hang it up to dry. Now that that's dry, the last step is to put swivels and eyelets on. Now that those are in, the lure's done.